hi everyone i hope you are all doing well so please think of your person and let's see what messages will come out for you so take a deep breath and please think of your person okay far too many okay but i'm gonna take this one because i saw it okay so i have workaholic dreaming about you i miss you so much I'm sorry for causing you so much pain. And the last one is when I am with you, I feel like I am home. Okay, so um, you are dealing with somebody who is a workaholic and this could be also your energy. This person is dreaming about you. They are missing you very much. And um, there has been some sort of uh, argument. Uh, this person must have said something to you or must have, they did something to you that uh, they know they caused you a lot of pain and they feel very sorry about that. And they just feel like when you're not around them, they feel kind of lost. And when they are with you, they feel like they just can be themselves, like 100% when they are around you. And they just feel like home when they are with you. So um, let's see what the dark cards have to say. Let's see. Oh, okay. One card just came out, went flying. Okay, King of Cups. Okay, let's see what else. What else? Okay. Okay, so death in reverse, the lovers, three of cups in reverse, and ace of cups in reverse. Okay, so you are dealing with somebody who is very compassionate, also somebody who is a mature person. Um, this person is very calm, very caring, very friendly, um, they're very wise, they're very diplomatic, they have a certain way uh, with the words so when they are talking, they just uh, have that way of just looking into your eyes and they just make you feel like there's nobody else around you and, you know, they're going to give you that extra attention, like 1000% that you will kind of feel lost in their eyes. It's like they are looking into your soul when you are talking to them. Uh, this person is somebody who is like family orientated, who, somebody who is very romantic, very charming, uh, somebody very generous. But despite this, you know, obviously this person it is working a lot. Now, um, uh, if you, because clearly I did say that this person did something for, uh, to you and or they did say uh, something that they caused you a lot of pain and they are aware of this. But for some of you, I feel like you had to separate because of everything that this person did to you. And uh, this person uh, feel like they cannot move on from you. You know, they are um, kind of um, resisting change, you know, and they also, they're very dependent on your energy. But I feel like once you are kind of thinking outside the box, if I can say that, and I feel like this person is gonna come um, and try to fix things with you. And for some of you, I feel like this person is, uh, you will give them another chance because uh, you both have uh, very strong feelings for each other and you do see each other as the one. The, actually, for some of you, this person is, uh, is your soulmate and uh, they have very strong feelings for you. You know, they're very, a lot of passion for you as well, okay? But they are just, um, you just feel like this is the right person for you, basically. But um, also for some of you, I feel like at the moment you are studying, you know, or you're thinking to study, you are thinking to concentrate on yourself, uh, to grow, uh, to make a better future for yourself, if I can say that, you know, because I feel like some of you are working very hard, but you just feel like there's something missing, that there is more to life, that, that you can do better. So I feel like you just decided to work, like to study, and to change your work if that makes sense and um but so i feel like some of you are still very sad and uh, um because for some of you you feel like this person that you had to separate they were just kind of playing around with you and uh you know they were not looking for something serious they were just kind of fooling around and it still makes you very sad and uh, as I mentioned before, for some of you, this person will come back and you will fix things with them. But for some of you, this person is not going to come back because, well, they were just kind of, you know, looking to play, which obviously is not a very nice thing to do. Also, for some of you, I feel like um, you want kids from this person and... Um, 
for some reason you just can't have. So let's see what can you expect to happen. What can you expect to happen? Actions. What can you expect to happen? The Empress in reverse. So I feel like for some of you, since you separated from this person or you had this argument with this person, I feel like you're very insecure. You kind of lack confidence and uh, you just um, not really kind of taking care of yourself. So please don't do that. I mean, we all go through heartbreaks and despite everything, try to go deep within and uh, work on your healing and just know that this person, they will come back to you and if it's not meant to be that means you just uh, make a place for the right person to come into your life okay but uh, just do, go deep within just work on yourself work on your healing okay and take each day as it comes because the less you think about them they will feel your energy is uh, kind of pulling away from them and they will start missing you okay because the more you think about them then the more they will feel your energy and nothing is going to happen when you concentrate on yourself on your life on whatever you want to do and you're happy and uh, that's basically when it, they're going to get to come back or it regardless of your situation the ex-partner or the new person okay but they will come your way so just have faith and please look after yourself okay okay because I cannot express in words how important it is for you to look after yourself because the more you love yourself, the more the other people around you, they're going to love you, okay? So, okay, um, let's see what else can you expect to happen. Temperance. Yes, yeah, so I feel like oh, you will go deep within, you're going to work on your healing and uh, once you're going to start doing that, you're going to start to feel more at peace, you're going to find balance in your life, you know, you're going to, uh, you're just going to feel more calm or deep within, just as I mentioned before, you're going to feel at peace and you're going to start to, um, and by working on yourself, you're attracting this new person or even the ex-partner to come back to you. So keep doing that, okay? Keep going the Buddha and keep working on yourself. Just be happy with what you have, okay? Because it's so, so important. Okay. Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, so with this, I can say that for some of you, you just don't really know what to do now that you, probably you've been in a long relationship and you just don't really know what to do now that you're by yourself. You have more time on your hands. Because before you were always dealing with things like and doing so many things for the other person then now that this person is not around you you just don't really know what to do with your time uh so there's always something to do you know maybe you can start a new hobby maybe you can just start your own business studying you know uh, just look at how you can improve your life for the better you know because we only have one life and we really have to live it to the fullest Okay, one more card. What else can you expect to happen? Okay, this one wanted to come out. Queen of Cups. Yes, yeah, so emotionally you're still feeling insecure and you feel like you cannot really trust people at the moment. Uh, so um, I would just say it's very important to work on your healing, okay? Because not everyone that they coming into your life, they're here to hurt you. I understand you're going for a heartbreak. We've all been there and it's, it is very painful. But it's very, very important for you to do your work. And once you're going to start doing your work and you finish working on yourself, this new person is going to come your way or your ex-partner is going to come your way. But until then, nothing's going to happen and you, you know, you're going to lose confidence and just not going to feel well within yourself but once you do that um, work on yourself then everything is going to be just fine you know like I really can pick up on a really really bright future positive future for you and a new person coming your way and as I mentioned before for some of you is a new person for most of you is your ex-partner it's totally up to you if you want to take them back or not but I'm just saying what the cards are telling me okay so this is what I'm seeing thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in another video bye